All right, what's up, my little Soviets? I'm here with the 12th episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. So, I'm actually in a very bad mood right now because I was filming this video, then my PC ended up crashing, and I got to restart this all over again, which I'm actually very pissed. But um, in the last episode... We came across a lot of deja vu, a lot of stuff we came across before, for example, poems that were being read. And then we ended up coming across the fight that Natsuki and Yuri were having with each other. And when Sayori was here, she ended up stopping the fight, you know, coming in between them and like calming them down. But without Sayori, and I believe something else is in the works that just made them go off the rails. It was an intense fight. So, um, without further ado, let's just get right into it. We were at the end of the last episode. We were talking to Yuri, and then it's like she wanted us to talk about something. And it's like Monica did not allow it. And then the game started glitching, and it just teleported us to here. So, without further ado, let's just start. So, let's try to do this very quickly. So, wonderful, misery, charm, unrestrained, fantasy, broken, disarray, clumsy, kawaii, essence, desire... Bouncy cheeks, whistle, party, unending, forgive, after image, family. And then, right here, some shit's gonna go down in three, two, one, zero. Nothing? What the fuck? Some shit started going down. What the fuck? Oh, god damn. Alright, I mean, fuck it, right? Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Kevin. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Case in point, the fight. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've been here, I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Because something was off. Like, um... A lot of shit... See, I realized this in the last recording, but, um... Episode 10 and episode 11... This is episode 12 now, but... Episode 10 and 11 all took place at the same day, and a lot of shit started going down. Which, later in this video, I'll actually explain what the fuck was. For example, last episode was the fight. And that shit went off the rails so bad. Like, oh, fuck. It was horrible. It was horrendous. But, um... Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. And I don't think that was it either. And I don't think that was it. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a, a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Kevin, 
Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... I... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? That's what the fuck I'm saying, Natsuki. Like, she's not here. <laughs> uh, did it... Wait a minute, now that I'm thinking back, um... The same thing happened when Sayori was there too. She was just gone. Like, she... She didn't show up. At least for a little bit, right? Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was, and I gotta put the game volume down a bit. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Hmm, Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Duh, duh, duh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. She's gonna have something right here on her fucking mouth. Watch. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Oh, it's not here. But, I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it kinda, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. I don't hate you. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. That, 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 Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Well, that's bullshit, Natsuki. What did I do to you? Hey! Suddenly the door swings open! Monica! S sorry, I'm super sorry! Ah, there you are! I didn't mean to be late! I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah, well, Natsuki was. Uh, I was not! What took you so long anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah ha ha, that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music at all as well, Monica. I don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still. That must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, well thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Kevin. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Uh, no, and I think it was there, though. It was there. So what? Bro, the game crashed, and then... The game fucking crashed, and then there's some shit that's not going down that happened before. 
y'all think I'm losing my mind, but I'm not. I'm not losing my mind. Ugh, fuck. N not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. See, I was correct! That shit that happened with Natsuki did happen over there! What the fuck is going on? Is the game- does the game change every single time? Is it like RNG? Like some different shit happens? Like there's no way, right? There's no way. Oh, this game is pissing me off. Uh, okay. Kevin, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. I, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine, and that's what I was talking about, this part right here. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being... Ignored. This text was not there in the last... It is fucking RNG, I swear to fucking god it's RNG. This... This text was not there, does she be... She's used to being ignored? Come on, we're going over there. Um. Wait a minute. It's all so different. That did not happen either. That did not happen either. Oh, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. What the fuck? Bro... Does the game change every single playthrough? Like, there's no way, right? Like... See, that's really cool, but, um... What? Okay, um... Well, what I was gonna say is... Episode 10 and episode 11 of this game... Took place on the same day. If you guys don't remember, episode 10... Right at the end, before we started to read the poems, which we started reading them in episode 11. Episode 10, we were reading a manga with Natsuki when she passed out. And then when she woke up, there was just a lot of the bold black text and Natsuki's eyes and mouths were just all scribbled in black, which... Which then Monica said that always happens. We just got to give her fucking food. And then the last episode with the fight, you know, it was just what the fuck this game. All right. What's the story about anyway? Well, mm, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking ice symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to. Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Doesn't matter, you can spoil all you want. I ain't gonna read that book. I mean, I don't read books anyways, but... Fuck it, right? But anyway, I'm really into it. I'm sorry for the guy. <sighs> the book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. I don't know what's so funny. I didn't mention this in the last recording, but, um, I just put it together. The character's name is named after me. And then Yuri is named after my alias. There was, back in the past, my YouTube channel actually used to be 
named Kevin Yuri, which is phenomenal. I just put that together. <laughs> wow. I mean, my YouTube channel went to a couple different names, but um, Kev Yuri's the one that stuck, you know? Oh, that's... That's about it, really. <laughs> I mean, I've gone through so many names. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? I'm a fan of horror. Slasher. Yeah. Slasher horror, demon horror, ghosts and all that. You know, they're really good. I like horror movies. No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective, and what the fuck happened to the music? When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. This was, this was in the last recording. Then suddenly, I remember that too, it shows up here. Yeah, I was so confused because the... I thought the bold black text just doesn't show up, but apparently it shows up in the history, which, oh, I really, it really confused me. But, um, I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly... And I didn't finish... I Oh, last recording, I wasn't even able to read that, but I was able to read it. I was like, her body gets incredibly what? That was a lot of characters. That was not a word. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, that scared me the last time. I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, this game. Let me compose myself for a second. This game, you know, it... Hayden warned me about this game. And, like, this is my first ever playthrough on it. I've never played through this game before. So, um... You know, I was super excited, but now I just want to get off it. <laughs> I just want to stop. A lot of shit's going down, which I can't really comprehend why everything's happening. Ah, uh, damn it. Ah. Uh. All right. Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Aha, uh -huh, don't... What are you saying? Dot, dot, dot. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well... Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading and company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. 
I was just being whoa 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 the the same thing happened in the I try to read it but the same thing happened in the last recording but I couldn't all I saw was the word bathe or baiting but that's it oh what the fuck bro I gotta go frame by frame on that in Vegas I need to see what the fuck that said Yuri you really apologize a lot don't you. I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead, I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. There it is. This is where, this is where my game crashed. Bro, I was saying, this scene, this frame is so beautiful. Like, it's incredible. Oh, fuck. All right, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. You can see it right there too, bro. This is wonderful. Uh, I do the same with the right arm on the right side of the book. See, there it is too. The way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. Oh, what the fuck? Huh. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Oh, ho, 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 ho. are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. I mean, yeah, <laughs> bro, she's looking right at me. Bro, Yuri is beautiful. She's very beautiful. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh. Oh my gosh, she smiled. She smiled. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Hold on, I want to check something. Why is... is there just no music at all? Or what? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We... Oh my god. Her eyes, like her eyes actually shifted. Bro, what the fuck? We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me. So I turn it by my own viola viola volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh my god. That looks a little bit terrifying, Yuri. I'm sorry, but, um... <laughs> no, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things, she says, and all that. Uh... Please don't look at me like that, Yuri. Please. Please don't look at me. That's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. 
we didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. I, she's giving me a little bit of a crazy eye, which I don't like. Yuri, you're beautiful. Please stay like that. Please. Please, girl. Yuri, are you feeling all right? Uh, ooh. Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Kevin? Did something happen just now? It? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. Why is there no music? Bro. Like, there's no mu- Why is there no music? I need my music. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. Did I say that? I don't know if I did. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. I mean... He put his hand on her chest. Which, you know, we all know what's over there. <laughs> but, um... Oh, my guy, why'd you do that? No, nothing. Uh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Well, she just dips out of the classroom out of nowhere? Like, dude, oh, you gotta stop saying shit like that, Monica. Like, now I'm second-guessing everything now. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, we don't... Why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? It... Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we get started with other. That okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. There we go, we got music. Alright, um... I don't know how long this is going to take, and I also don't know what the fuck is going to happen after this, because, oh god, something else is going to happen, but, um, shit. This game, oh, fuck. Monica, you little... Oh, she's got to stop saying that everything's, you know, all right. She's got to stop saying that people do this shit just randomly out of nowhere. Natsuki doesn't... She just doesn't tweak out like that. She doesn't. Yuri... There's no way she just dips out of the classroom in just random moments of time. <laughs> like, oh god, this game. Oh god. Alright, if, uh, yeah! if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you're new. And, oh my god, this game is absolutely incredible. So, um, if you guys haven't already, you know, go check out all the other episodes. I think it was episode 8 or 9. Oh, that's when shit starts going off the rails. <laughs> like, it's either episode 8 or 9. Shit just... Oh. Yeah. I think it's episode 9. Alright, again, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you're new. And this has been Kevin Ayeri here. Peace!